going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today we've got the seventh ipl game review and well this is game of the tournament so far what an absolute spectacular game of cricket lsg officially record their first franchise win and what a win it was uh <laughs> having to chase down the fourth highest total in ipl history um, in a run chase and then being able to do it with three balls left when it looked like they weren't even going to get to 180 at one point to then claw their way back to the end um, and win this match was incredible I mean this is one of the uh, one of the best IPL games I've watched in recent memory I mean probably this season so far I mean obviously the the Punjab Kings game against RCB is my personal favourite so far, but just on a pure watching ability, this match really did have it all, um, and which we're, <laughs> we're about to unpack it all, so hey, if you guys are new, subscribe, let's just get straight into it, no wasting time, um, of course, well, Kale Rahul won the toss, he sent CSK into bat, obviously, uh, the way the T20 cricket works at the moment, if you win the toss, you bowl first, it's just... Pretty self-explanatory, and especially on a pitch um, like this one. The pitch, how do we put this nicely? It was quite flat. So, look, of course, bowling first was the right decision. I mean, you got a little bit more out of the ball early um, when it was, I guess. But the, the, I mean, in 40 overs, the pitch didn't really change that much. So, it's not like it was a test match. But, hey, all right. I keep saying, but, hey, and then I don't get into it. So, let's get into it now. CSK. Well, they made... A few changes. Devin Conway, gone, which, I mean, you give Devin Conway one game and he has one bad game and all of a sudden he's not a part of the team. Doesn't make sense to me. I thought he was going to be their opener for the next however long, but I guess not. Uh, Adam Milne, I think, went out of this team as well. And one more. Shit. I'm noticing one more change, but I can't tell what it is. Oh, Pret I Pretorius came in. Or Ch Chowdhury came... Oh, fuck. I know Chowdhury came in. All right, look. I can't remember the exact changes, but <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. All right. CSK, opener. Robin, he's into the opening position with Guykwood. 50 off 27. Eight fours, one six. It's good to see the big fella still got it, and he can make a huge impact here in the competition. I mean, you're able to bring him up as an opener. 50 off 27 is a pretty... Pretty good knock and a pretty good way to get your uh, team started. Ruderaj Gaikwood, unfortunately, he had a brain fade. Um, and Bishnoi, he was not going to miss any opportunity. Hit the stumps and Gaikwood, unfortunately, the first two games of the season for him have not gone the way that you would want as a reigning Orange Cap winner. But he's young. You know, he'll learn. He'll get better. And... I don't want to see any Guykwood slander. We love Guykwood, and we support the future of cricket. So that's, you know, we will we will not hang on any shit on Ruderaj. Uh, Moen Ali back into the side as well. That's the one I forgot to mention, I think. 33 off 22. Of course, it brings stability back into this lineup. We've seen in, the, in CSK's first game that their batting lineup just didn't look set. It didn't look solid enough. There were so many holes in it. There were so many unknowns, but... You bring someone like Moeen Ali back into your 11 and you just slot him at number three, can bowl four, bats at three. That's all you really need. And especially in IPL, spinning all-rounders are <laughs> of a premium in the competition. Shivam Dubé, 49 off 30. Just some outrageous hitting from the man. I, I, to be honest, I didn't know he still... Well, not still had it, but <laughs> obviously he still has it because he's still playing, but... Pretty impressed from what I saw. And, you know, that's what CSK need. They need these guys in the middle order to step up. Like, you know, they've brought a Shivam Dubey in. They've got Rabat uh, and Batty Raidu there. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Oh, <clears throat> I'll edit that out, by the way. You won't see or hear any of that. Uh, Jadeja, of course, still in that. All right, where am I up to? I'm com I had a cough and I'm completely lost now. Um, all right, where? Uh, and Buddy Ryder, 27 off 20. Jadeja gone for 17 off 9. Um, Dhoni came out, hit a 6, hit two fours to finish off the innings and give CSK a 210 score, which 
in most T20s across the world, that's going to be a winning score about 90% of the time, I want to say. 95% of the time you score over 200, you're probably going to go and get that win um, in that match. But hey, you know, the deck, yeah, the deck was definitely favorable for batsmen. It was, you know, slowing up a little bit once it got to the batsmen. But just because the pitch is friendly for batsmen doesn't mean... It's like they didn't try. <laughs> you still have to go out there and make the runs. We also need to talk about the fielding for both sides. Dropped catches for both teams. Moeen Ali dropped a sitter for CSK. Um, there was there was so many fielding mistakes for Lucknow. And they are so lucky. Lucknow? Lucknow were lucky. Yep, yeah, you got that. Um, that those you know missed opportunities didn't cost them. Because, I mean, they let through about four four boundaries through misfields. They dropped about two to three different catches. You've got to be better than that in the field if you're going to want to go on and challenge for a title. I mean, they go on and get this win anyway, so they probably get lucky in the end. But, um, yeah, definitely got to sharpen up on that fielding. Um, on both sides, the CSK... No, the LSG bowlers. Avesh Khan, two for 38 or four. Yeah, he's really good. I mean, it, it, I, there's nothing more to say. Everyone knows... He will get his opportunity in Indian colors soon enough. Um, you know, he's still someone that is still developing his game. Um, I mean, there's nothing more to say. He's a he's a great bowler. Das Martha Chamira, none for 49 or 4. That is not ideal um, at all. And you've got to think. I mean, they take out a guy like Devin Conway. I mean, I know one's an opening batsman and one's a bat at seven all-rounding bowl four overs Chimera. So obviously they're not a like for like, but is Chimera like, uh, I mean, you've got someone like AJ Ty. We will get in, We will get into their batting lineup um, in just a moment, Luck now. Because I just want to kind of go, th- I'm trying to wonder what they're really doing um, with their 11 at the moment. Just, um, <laughs> okay, I keep forgetting where I'm up to. AJ Ty, his first game uh, for Luck now, two for 40 or four. He was, Again, really, really good. Great change of pace. I know he did clean up the tail end a bit. He got out... Oh, he got out Jadeja. Oh, that was in the last over, I think, as well. And then he... Who was his other wicket? Pretorius for a golden duck. So, hey, two wickets is two wickets. So that... <laughs> you still take that. Look, he's always going to be expensive, unfortunately. Um, that's just always something AJ Tyre has been. Uh, look, if he's going to take wickets, but there's every chance he goes for 45 runs in and over. It's just the good and the bad that you take with AJ Tyre, but... Um, yeah, really classy stuff. I mean, you take two wickets on a pretty flat deck. You, you, you take that any other day. Colonel Pandia. He's bowling three overs for some reason. KL, what are you doing? That's another thing we have to talk about. Why is Colonel Pandia bowling three overs? I understand he's a decent... I don't really want to say a spinner because it's, he's not really spinning the ball that much. He's, he's like a Stephen O'Keefe with that left arm. He just puts it in the right areas and he makes you defend. That's how they get you. They make you make the mistake. And normally they do, but th- not this time. None for 36 off three. Yeah, there's got to be a, bit of, a better spinning option than bowling Krunal Pandya three. Even the man Deepak Huda, who I know went for 12 runs in his only over, but is Krunal Pandya really that like important to make sure he gets three overs? Like, you're telling me there isn't a better spinner in your team that can at least come over and roll the arm over for at least one. Get KL Rahul out. KL, roll the arm over, son. I was listening to your Breakfast with Champions episode the other day, and you said you used to bowl before your shoulder got a bit sore. Well, you tell your shoulder to man up, because I want to see you out there putting down some right arm paces next game. Uh, Bishnoi the Bish. Well, he was the best bowler of the lot. Almost, well, he kind of did change the game back into LSG's favor throughout that middle part. It could have been 250 if it wasn't for the Bish. Two for 24 of four. He was really good. Um, and to be honest, I, <laughs> every day I see him not on the Punjab Kings is a sad day because we should have retained him. Um, but you live and you learn, I guess. <laughs> All right. LSG had a total of 210 to chase down. Uh, yeah, the fourth highest, ch- it would have been the fourth highest successful chase in IPL history. And they get the win. KL Rahul and Quinton de Kock is just a destructive opening pair. Quinton de Kock was actually dropped on 34 by that man, Moen Ali. So, you know, it ends up costing you close to 30 runs. Those 30 runs end up 
essentially deciding the game. So, you know, it just shows catches win matches. I mean, everyone's heard that cliche before, but goddamn catches win matches. So, <laughs> for both sides, you've just got to hold on to some of those chances. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the fielders alone for now. Yeah, this, but this opening pair, I mean, Cal Rahul, 40 off 26, two fours, three sixes. Just some beautiful striking of the ball. And, and when he gets up, you know, he, he uses his feet and he gets up the crease to the spinners. He looks unstoppable. Um, there was this one delivery that was bowled by... Fuck, who was it? I think it was. I think it was... It was a spinner. I think it was Molly and Ali early in the game, but he just dispatched him. Um, but Kale really good. Of course, as a captain, they would have wanted him to go on and you know, score 85, but not everything can happen how you want it. Quinton de Kock, 61 of 45, 9 fours. I mean, it's it's the man. It's de Kock. This is the man right there. This is de Kock. Hey, 61. <laughs> not bad at all. Manish Pandy in for five. And the, and really, Manish Pandy, it just broke the back of of LSG. And you thought, LSG actually are going really well. They've got a, they're none for 100 at this point. They're looking good. They're probably going to go on and chase these runs. Then Manish Pandy comes out, goes out. Then Deepak Huda puts on 13 runs. He goes out. And all of a sudden, they were four for... Um, four for like 135, and you're thinking, all right, yeah, well, CSK, they're going to wrap this match up. This match is done. <laughs> and then enter the West Indian superstar himself, Evan Lewis. I mean, just, just clap it up for this. I mean, everyone loves, not only do we all love every West Indian cricketer, and just whenever a West Indian cricketer can take over, dominate, make runs, it's a happy day for... I want to say all... all right, I just got a phone call that I had to interrupt halfway uh, through my recording. But I think I was up to what Evan Lewis was doing and speaking about how he single-handedly pretty much won the match for LSG. I mean, West Indian players are the most loved and respected players in like cricket. I think everyone just wants them to do well. I think that's a, a known rule and fact is just everyone wants West Indies to do well. Um, and everyone wants to see, you know, the second coming of uh, Chris Gale, DJ Bravo, Chiron Pollard, these big West Indian hitters who can send the ball to, to almost Jupiter if they wanted to. And Evan Lewis, I mean, if you guys are new to the channel and you won't know this, but my favorite cricket shot is a cover drive or anything that is like just sent for six or straight down the ground over the bowler's head. Those are my favorite cricketing shots and a cut shot Ooh, and a pull on I do like any cricket shot, really. But, you know, my favorite is when you sent it over the bowler's head and you just let him know, go and fucking fetch the ball. Um, or any sort of cover drive is always just a beautiful shot. And Evan Lewis, just pure hitting power. He just sat back in his crease, rocked back, and sent the ball over over um, the bowler's head. Just incredible. They needed, like, 60 or 14 at one point, And you're just thinking, no, nah, this match is, is cooked. But... <laughs> just, yeah, just out of the, uh, unreal. And you also have to give credit to Ayush Badoni, 19 off 9. He came out, um, two sixes. That's, you know, that's 12 of his 17, uh, of his 19 runs. That's, that's really important. And, you know, the fact that LSG bat this deep, they can go all the way down to Krunal, who is still a recognized all-rounder. Kind of. <laughs> or if you wish. And AJ Ty has actually improved with the bat over the last couple of years. Um, in the big bash, so you know he's someone who can who can swing the stick as well. That sounds a bit weird to say. He can swing the stick as well, but you get what I mean. I mean the cricket bat. Um, but when you bat that deep, this is a really, really, really good side. And you know after their first game against Gujarat, just losing, you think, oh, all right, they're not going to be any good. But they come out here, they do the reigning champions, and they look fantastic. I mean, opening partnership, beautiful. Manish Pandy at three. As again, still interesting with that with that choice in the eleven. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing someone like Deepak Huda at three, or even Evan Lewis at three. Even though he did so well at four, so you probably keep him there. But I I know Pandy is a guy who who would rather bat in the top four. But I think I think IPL teams are so scared sometimes to change their eleven and and do and try new things to try and get a win. If you stick with the old formula, it's not going to work. But I mean. Well, they did get a win, so I guess does it matter? 
Probably not. My bad. I'll edit that out. All right, into the CSK bowlers. Mikesh Chowdhury, unfortunately, just not the game for him that he would have wanted. None for 39 off three. Just not ideal. Tushar Desh Pandey. Uh, he is a beautiful, tall left arm quick. Um, it's either him or Chowdhury that... No, no, no. Wait, what? Hold... No, Desh Pandey. Yeah, the tall left arm quick. He gets plenty of bounce on it. A tall fella. He looks a lot like Marco Jansen, the way he bowls, but, I mean, didn't actually bowl very well at all. One for 40 or four. Gets the wicket, which is awesome, but he just kept bowling the same delivery, just this short, full of pace delivery. Tried to change it, but he just didn't bowl full enough. Didn't get his length right at all. Um, but, you know, the young fellow, he'll, he'll learn it and he'll get better. So, that's yeah, okay. That's okay. DJ Bravo, one for 35 off four. Uh, I mean, again, the wicket's important. 35 runs, not great, but, you know, you take the wicket, that's okay. But we have to talk about DJ Bravo and his new celebration where he, 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 he takes a catch or he, you know, bowls and gets a wicket or whatever, and he starts this celebration where he's like... <laughs> he's swinging the finger around, essentially, to say, like, no, 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 no. Now, I have seen some controver... You know, we've seen some controversial celebrations. Um, and everyone always seems to have a problem with the way people do things. Well, I think it's awesome that people are bringing new celebrations and, and just doing sh doing different stuff in the league. <laughs> but gee, if I'm a batsman and Dwayne Bravo does that celebration to me after I go out, he's getting a helmet to the head. I mean, <laughs> I would not be having that when he is up in his face and he's going, swinging his finger. <laughs> I'd be like, no, DJ, mate. You dance your way back. You dance your way out of this stadium, my friend, before something bad happens. Um, <laughs> that celebration is way out of pocket. <laughs> Jadeja, the skipper, none for 21 off two. Not his day. Uh, Moen Ali, none for 14 off one. The spinners didn't really have to play a massive role um, in this one. Dwayne Pretorius was the pick of the CSK bowlers. Has a great change of pace. And um, who's that wicket he got out that was early? So, yeah, he picked up the two opening batsmen, which the most important wickets of that entire innings. Um, so, yeah, well bowled to Pretorius. And Javam Dubé bowled one over in the 18th over, that was. And he got put for 25 runs, and essentially that cost him the, the game in the end. So, look, Shivam, I don't want to be too harsh. This isn't your fault. It's not entirely your fault. <sighs> But gee, you bowled like shit. <laughs> that was one of the... <laughs> I mean, Evan Lewis is a great, great batsman. Do not get me wrong. But when you bowl pie after pie after pie, what more can you expect than Evan Lewis to just pick the ball up and send it straight over your head for six? Um, and then even Bodoni hit this beautiful like cross bat shot on one knee. I, I thought, are we watching fucking... Like, are we watching Prime A.B. De Villiers out here? Like, what the fuck's going on? He got on one knee, put this little paddle shot, Bodoni, and I thought, that is special. That is a talent right there. Um, but hey, LSG get the win with three deliveries to remain. One of my favorite um, IPL games to start this season. Let's have a look at the table while we're here. Uh, all right, Rajasthan, of course, so... There's only four teams that have played two games. So all of these teams are in the exact same position, essentially. CSK is the only team without a win who's played two games. Wow. Okay, CSK fans are going to be a bit... I can tell CSK fans are a little bit worried about their start. But, hey, that's okay. Do not worry. It's a long season. Um, you should be okay, I would assume. So, Kolkata, LSG, RCB, CSK. I mean, they're all amongst it, so... They're all just in the same position. The table's just starting to, to form. I want to have a look at the stats real quick. Yeah, Faf Duplessis, Ishan. Okay. So no, nothing's really, really changed on that front. But tonight, tonight's match, we have Cold Carter Knight Riders versus the Punjab Kings. So uh, where is this game played? I haven't actually checked that yet. Wow, we're 55% to win. Nice. I like that. Um, one Keddy Stadium. Okay, so it should be a great game. Hopefully plenty of runs. Hopefully plenty of wickets. Hopefully yeah, just a great game of cricket. And hopefully up on Jab Kings win uh, for my sake. But hey, that will cap it off. LSG get the win. CSK start 0-2. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Uh, CSK, did they, they need a win. LSG. Oh, by the way, I just want to say before we end off the video. LSG's, you know, kit and jersey is... 
spectacular. I am loving the new kit with the orange, the green. I know, I know not many people are big fans of it. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely bloody loving it. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.